Good morning from the second park of our Europe road trip. Today we're back here at the beautiful Efteling in the Netherlands. I am so happy to be back at this park and feeling well. Last time we were here, I was so poorly and spent most of my time in bed on the accommodation. Luckily, the accommodation was gorgeous. It was only Christmas that's just gone. And so, yeah, we had a fantastic time. But we thought during this road trip, we'll come in for the day to Efteling, get back on our favorite rides and take you along for the experience. It's a great park, this. Oh, I do love the entrance to this park. And look who's up there on the balcony. It's Pardu, see, the mascot of the park. I'm looking forward to getting back on his attraction, Symbolica. Hey, he's got his wand. Oh, he's put the wand down, that's it. Hey, hello. <laughs> oh, it's always lovely getting back here to Efteling. Park hours are 10 a.m through until 6 p.m. And yeah, we've used our Blackpool Pleasure Beach season pass from the UK to gain our one day's entry into this park. Because yeah, quite a few parks around Europe partner with each other. It means you get free days at their other parks. So yeah, if you've got a Pleasure Beach pass in the UK, you can come here and have a free day. We're gonna start off our day then here at Efteling with a ride on Fata Morgana, a brilliant dark ride. It's very long, it's got some awesome scenes and fantastic theming throughout. And also the smells in here are great too. Let's go and ride, love a good dark ride. It's got a beautiful soundtrack this ride. And yeah, here's the station area. She's very nicely themed. Let's go and have our ride. Walk on. with a ride on Fata Morgana. That ride is sensational. I love it to bits. I could ride it all day. And yeah, with that, you got some beautiful set pieces. The soundtrack, the smells, and the storytelling in there is perfect, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. The whole ride is so well maintained. All the animatronics working, all the smells. It is brilliant. Every time we go on, it's relentless. The real fire effects. And what I love about that ride is the doors kind of opening into the different scenes. Like you got the gates, you got the doors. It really builds up the mystery and suspense as you're making your way around. It's a beautiful ride and a great way to start our day. It's just always such a delight getting back here to this park. You can never have too many visits to Efteling in my opinion. It is stunning. All the buildings, the music and the gorgeous landscaping of the park. It's in a beautiful setting here in the forest with all the trees. It's very pretty. And we're going to make our way now onto Max and Moritz which are two power coasters built by Mac Rides. Five minute wait. Very popular family ride here at the park. So you know it's not going to be too busy at all when this is only five minutes. And since we were last here, look at the construction on the new ride for next year, Dance Macabre. Wow, that is looking awesome. Yeah, it's a new dark ride coming to the park. You're gonna spin round in the scenes. And yeah, they've already opened part of the pathway down towards it, so I'll have to have a look at that later. Yeah, there's the main show building itself. We'll see it a bit better, actually, from board Max and Moritz. Yeah, on-ride filming is permitted here at this park, so I'll get the chest mount on, or we'll get some footage. The question is, are we going on Max 
or Moritz. Two different tracks. And the fart cushions just down here as well. Oh, it sounded like me in the hotel last night. <laughs> Love the stage over there. So one dispatches that way, and the other goes this way, and it goes round twice. Let's gonna have our ride. Here we go. Hey, on board soundtrack. Woo! Let's dance, Macabre. Look at that. Wow. The interaction between the two is also, I do love that. And the landscaping is growing quite nice around here now. Woo! A bit faster for lap two. Quite whippy transitions now, actually. Hey. Oh, no, he's stuck. Oh, what a nice ride. Really enjoyed our ride there on Max and Moritz. It's a brilliant family coaster. The onboard soundtrack makes it fun. Like I said, just the landscaping is really starting to take over it now, which I'm really pleased about. It did look quite barren before. How was your ride? Oh, the interaction on there is great with the other car going over the top and underneath. It's brilliant. Yeah, I really like it. And also, we got some great views of Dance Macabre there. It's come on so well. The building's pretty much nearly up. Yeah, and the theming's starting on the outside. I'm sure the ride system's in. It's, oh, it's really exciting. Right, we're going on Piranha. The wrap is just here now. With it being a 10-6 day, and with us only being here for one day, kind of going round in a circle and just making the most of the attractions and getting on them. Yeah, it's walk-on. So it's gonna have a ride on Piranha, nice rapids. It's got a really good soundtrack on Piranha as well. What? Hey! Oh, we got a boat to ourselves. Oh, it's got off, you're all right. Just about. <laughs> second park of the trip, second rapids already for you. Poncho on. That happened to me last night at Movie oh, Park. Got absolutely soaked. It was fantastic. Hey, I got really wet last night at Movie Park Germany. We had a good time though for the Halloween Horror Festival. So make, you <laughs> make sure you check out our vlog. There's no one lying here on the channel. There's George and the Dragon just over there. Yeah, the two wooden coasters. Looking forward to getting back on those. They were closed at winter. I feel like I've not been on those for ages. Yeah, it's been a few years since we've done them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to those. Yeah, they were having some refurbishment work done. They have actually added some of that new GCI Titan track on there. So we'll see how that feels. Nice waterfall. And talking of refurbishments, obviously it is a 365 park Efteling. It's open every day of the year. So that does mean that they're off the down. Heard that waterfall coming then. They are doing refurbishments to a few rides throughout the year. And yeah, we got a couple of bits closed today. We've got no Vogel Rock today. Oh, <laughs> it is shut for a, a refurbishment, along with that Villa Volta's closed as well. And also, um, we're not too sure why, because it wasn't advertised to be shut, but it's on the website today. Dreamflight as well. I'm hoping that it's just like a technical difficulty and it will open later. Yeah, fingers crossed. It's weird this part of Iran. It really slows down a lot, doesn't it? Like, before we get Put going. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's the thing when you're a 365 park and actually this rapids is going down for a long period from like november through to next summer yeah a lot of work being done it needs it though it's looking a bit tired in some areas on this one so yeah that's the thing <laughs> here we go. this is gonna get you now oh oh my god <laughs> right right <laughs> are you all right Said you don't get wet <laughs> That was quite a splash, that was, wasn't it? Splash! It's got me. Look at me. To be honest, though, it is a bit warmer today. Like, it's not a cold day, is it? The rain's supposed to come in later. That's why I've got this big brother. Yeah, we've got that massive brother here like, with us. So hopefully it'll be all right. I have actually got my waterproof trousers in my bag. I should have put them on, really. But yeah, I have got them with me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> there is some effects around here as well. I am so sure. 
<laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, these don't go off. Nah, I don't know. It is looking a bit tired there, so it could do with some work. So I'm glad they're doing the uh, refurbishment, giving it nice and fresh. It's more of a lazy river in places. Bit, yeah, it, it feels like, you know, we're not getting the, the ump. In fact, these aren't on just here. It's like it's not got the momentum, like, to go round. It's going to speed up a bit now for you, though, don't worry. Here we go. Oh, oh, I don't the look of this round, do you? oh, that's looking a bit choppy. Choppy waters. Oh, God. It could get you this, good Charlotte. Oh, we didn't have enough momentum there. <laughs> and I thought my arm was going to stop it. Yeah, it's really not. Well, I don't mind. I'll stop this one either. No, don't don't turn around. He's coming in. Oh! <laughs> Barana. I like how the boats are branded as well. Look at that. As you got Barana in the back. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. Charlotte's oh smiling on the water ride. Gosh. That's what we don't see very often. We've got some waterfalls coming up. And we're halfway down here at Efteling. Love coming back to the Netherlands. This ain't good here. Here we go. <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> She's gone. Massive waterfalls. Yeah, a lot of this rock work's supposed to be getting redone. <laughs> Just a light sprinkle. There we go. I'm round to the end of the ride. That's Piranha. I do love a good water ride, especially a nice rapid. Piranha was really good fun there. Well, what can I say? I'm absolutely soaked. My trousers are dripping. I don't think you're ever exaggerating either. I'm not. I'm soaked. Yeah, you are quite well. That's calmer for last night and me oh. getting it. Um, yeah, it's looking quite tired, that. It does need the lengthy refurbishment that's coming up. Uh, it's not up to the usual Efteling standards. I'm glad they're doing the work. <laughs> There she goes, the beauty. Baron Achten Achtenechnen. For all of the Dutch viewers out there, I do try my best. If you're Dutch and it's your first time watching this, I apologise for how I just pronounced this ride. But I am trying. <laughs> I have to get that in there for our Dutch followers. Yeah, I do love Baron 1898, Park's 2015 BM dive coaster. And it's gorgeous, all the theming. Yeah, and the BM custom support structure, just up there too. Love how close you can get to that BM track. Advertised wait for 30 minutes. We'll wait about 20 minutes and we're here at the first pre show. We've got our little raffle ticket here. So, yeah, they give you these outside because you either wait for the front row or the back two rows. Yeah, we went for the back two. Tell you what, it's a very exciting crowd today. <laughs> we got this patch there on Baron 1898. The onboard pre show, I love this. Show start. It was pretty big, else it would have gone down there. You get a bit more of a pull there actually on row two. If you're on the back, you really get whipped down the drop. Wow. That's what I mean about the location of this park. It is beautiful, look at that. Here we go. Woo! Oh, it's so misty. Bit of an upward tilt, let's see, 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 let's
It's always great getting back on Baron 1898. It's a wonderful dive coaster, and it's the overall package on there too that really makes it. The theming on there is just great with the pre show, and then you've got your little pre section before the lift, which really makes it. I do love that when all the cogs start turning, you got the lift hill, builds up the atmosphere for dropping down 123 feet, followed by two inversions. I love how you drop down into a very misty tunnel as well. Really feels like you're heading down into the mines. But yeah, it's a brilliant overall package that ride. But just behind us here, we've got Flying Dutch and also George and the Dragon, Yoris. We've not been on that for a while, have it we? It feels like a long time since we've been on that. Yeah, so you got two GCI wooden roller coasters. You can see them going around just there behind us. They were closed when we were here over winter for some retrack work. And uh, yeah, we missed out on getting on them. So I'm looking forward to these. And down here at the back end of the park, you got quite a few different rides, including Python here. Yeah, this was retracked a few years ago. Beautifully smooth. I love how you can stand underneath it here as well. And yeah, of course, we're gonna get on the big wood here just over here. Two tracks to choose from, George and the Dragon, opened in 2010. Oh, you can't beat the roar of a woody. We've been waiting about 15 minutes so far and we're here at the bottom of the stairs to the station. We've got water and fire, so I think we'll go water. Let's go and ride, we're going to be on the front row. Sound the trumpets and we're off. Time quite well for a front row. Excited to ride this again. It's a really good woody. There's the other train going up. <laughs> hey. I do like how you get the interactions with the other train. I tell you what, it's quite warm today. It's 20 degrees. We might have some rain later, but yeah, it's pretty good today. Better than yesterday's weather anyway. Wow, I love the location of this park. Let's go! We're the winners when we go into the station, it means the flags are going to come down to us. A little look there at that Titan track, yeah, the steel track that the bottom is turned around. We'll talk more about that when we get off. And there we go because we won. Down come the flags. Hey. <laughs> Love that. And they get all booze on the other side. That's three times in a row that water's won. Oh, there it goes, roaring around the track. George and the dragon really enjoyed getting back on that, did you? That coaster is brilliant. The airtime on there just keeps on going and the layout is brilliant. What's good about that is, of course, you go down the first drop, which is pretty big. You go round into the first hill, which is also quite large. And then the rest of the layout is really low to the ground. So you're really pushed up into the hills, especially down there on the front. It is a fantastic coaster and I enjoy getting back on there. I'm not a huge fan of the Steel Titan track. It's a new thing that GCI have started to bring in now to help parks with maintenance on wooden coasters. I can understand though why it is a good move for F-Telling. You've got to think they are a 365 park, as I mentioned earlier on. So it will definitely help, um, you know, keep the ride up more instead of, oh, we're getting missed it out. Uh, instead of having to go down for maintenance for prolonged periods. So I can understand it. In terms of how it rides though, I can feel it, I don't know about you. I couldn't really feel it, it doesn't really bother me. No, I mean, you're going round, it's all rough and ready, you know. And it was quite smooth around there. But still, I can understand the reasoning behind it. If it keeps the ride open and more reliable, and also um, less maintenance costs for the park, uh, then I can understand them doing it. But uh, I wouldn't like to see them do the whole layout or bring it to many other wooden coasters, that Titan track. Because it takes away the true meaning of a woody, in my opinion. Ooh. I tell you what, though, they've refurbished the Dragon, and it looks awesome. Yeah, it really is all these lower sections of the ride that make it. And it's great to see him working again. He wasn't working for quite some time. Huge animatronic. 
So don't miss him if you're coming down here to the park. Well worth coming down here to see. Look at it go. Oh, I'm next, we're heading on to Flying Dutchman, which is a water coaster. It was built by Comeback, manufacturer you don't really hear much about. And then what's fascinating about this, you can see the actual coaster track itself up there. That continues underwater. So yeah, even where you see the boats around here, there is a full coaster track actually underneath the water, which is fascinating. And yeah, this is beautifully themed. So I'm looking forward to getting back on this. It's got a big dark ride scene before you come outside. And that is certainly the highlight of this attraction. This building is beautiful, isn't it? All the detailing on there. And it gets even better when we head inside. The station for this is pretty spectacular. So we've been waiting about 20 minutes. Very high throughput this, fast moving as well. We make our way into the station. This soundtrack is stunning. Don't have our ride. Oh, and here we go. Of course, it does get very dark in here, so I'll put in some highlights from the dark ride scenes. We make our way into the Flying Dutchman. Oh, the camera doesn't do this justice, but we've got a room full of fog now and just the light on the front. As we say here on Theme Park Worldwide, you're right there, Charlotte. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. That is really nice ride. <laughs> really enjoyed getting back on the Flying Dutchman, and we've come off, and it started to rain. Oh, you have jinxed this weather. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? How was it for you? Oh, that was really good. The indoor section on there is so atmospheric. Going through on your boat, the little light, always oh, fantastic. Yeah, it's one of those. The camera really doesn't do it justice. The indoor scenes. You got to come here to Efteling and experience it. Uh, yeah, I only showed you a little bit from the inside because on the GoPro it doesn't pick up much. Uh, but yeah, you come outside and you've got the fun outdoor section, but it's definitely the uh, interior that I love in there. The dark ride scenes are pretty awesome. I think the rain stops again now, Charlotte. You're all right. Okay. Yeah, it seems all right. Windy. It is quite windy now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it has stopped raining though. Yeah, a little. Nice little rain check there from Charlotte. I think we're going to make our way down onto Python now. Like I say, with the opening hours not being the longest, I we wanted to make sure we can just go around in a circle really and uh, get things in because it is a huge park. And if you're going from one end to the other, uh, you, you know, you, your time's going to go. You're going to waste time. So yeah, we'll do Python whilst we're down here. And here it comes, operating since 1981. It's Python. We've got a 15 minute advertised wait. Love the sign. Look at the logo there. Awesome. We've got a dispatch. Yeah, we waited about 15 for Python. What I love about the trains on here is how it says Python on every row instead of just down at the front. Might be a bit rainy this one, but we'll see. Yeah, you got the vest restraints. Had new trains on here. It's had new trains quite a few times over the years, actually. But yeah, we do go pretty slow up the lift hill. <laughs> we really slow down as we're making our way up. So we'll see you when we get further up. Approaching the top of the lift hill, there's Pagode just over there. Oh, and Symbolica, very excited to get back on there. 
Can we head down to Symbolic and X, a trackless dark ride? <laughs> Look at this. Hey, and we're off. You can't beat these classes though. Like I say, it's mostly been retracked. You can see the joint actually on this drop. Let's go. Sharp brakes, very basic layout, but still good fun. I'm glad they did the retracking on there. And yeah, this is awesome. I love that. I like that for my wall. Very much enjoyed getting back on the old classic there that is Python. I say old classic, it's got the nice new trains on there and the retrack from a few years ago. So I found it very enjoyable. I was quite surprised at how smooth that was. I quite enjoyed it. Oh, that's good. It's nice to be riding the rides here at Efteling and not be freezing cold this oh, time. Normally it's very <laughs> cold when we come in winter. <laughs> yeah, like winter Efteling. It's beautiful here. I always remember a day here in the snow that I loved. However, it was very cold. Yeah, it's nice to be riding the coasters and not be freezing today. Also, just wanted to add as well, uh, to improve efficiency, it's bags on a lot of the rides, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know, which is really good. You haven't got to mess about with putting your bags at the side and just take them on with yeah, you. Yeah, I like that. Even on a looping coaster like that, you know, you put your bag by your feet, which is fine. I like that. Uh, also, single rider is in place on a lot of the attractions here too. So if you want to reduce your wait time and don't mind splitting up from your party, they have got the single rider queues. I do love this park, it's got such a charm about it. And yeah, look at the car ride just over here. I like how they're all different vehicles. One was like a truck, you got a vintage car just over there. Spinning scarecrow in the middle there too. Beautiful family park this. It's all the buildings, the music, plenty of areas just to relax and chill out here at Efteling as well. You've also got one of the biggest pirate ships anywhere in the world, look at this. Massive swinging ship. And it's a good fun ride. I like all the building there just behind it actually. Really does look the part from off ride here. I love all the quirky features here in this park. <laughs> Look at this statue over here. Very cool. And yeah, you've got Gondoletta, which is the nice relaxing boat ride. It's actually about a 20 minute ride that takes you all around the water here. It's beautiful. And that's the thing with this park. It's got so many attractions, but also it's just got them chilled out spaces that are really important in a park. You know, this ride doesn't need music and animatronics to make it enjoyable. Just kind of sitting on there and relaxing over the water um, is a really nice experience. And yeah, we're making our way now down to our favorite ride at the park, one only Symbolica. And there's the show building for Symbolica. It's themed all the way around and even on the top. And you can see that when you go on Pagode, the observation tower there just behind it, which is beautiful too. We're gonna make our way around for Symbolica. On the letter just down there. Oh, it's so nice being back at this park. Oh, and here's the front of the show building, absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, it's advertised on 35 minute waits, but only five for single riders. So yeah, we're gonna go for single rider on this because we've heard from some fans of the channel that are here, it's only actually running two out of three tours at the moment, and you can't actually pick your tour. So we thought we may as well just do single rider and get on here much quicker, especially with us having just the one day here at Efteling. Right here to the front, and yeah, if you are doing single rider here on Symbolica, you do still get to see the pre-show. So let's go make our way inside the Palace of Fantasy. Ik heb een veel leuker idee. Geen audiëntie, geen regels, maar ga met mij mee. Nee, nee, nee. Een reis door vertrekken vol magie. Ook een I do love 
love the pre-show there with the stairs opening up and Pardus. Brilliant. Let's make our way down to the fantasy floats. Oh yeah, this is really weird to see. We got a couple of the ride vehicles parked up at the back just over there in the loading area. Lovely getting back on Symbolica. Not too sure what's up with it there at the moment. It's a bit poorly, sadly, isn't it? Yeah, I really don't know what's going on. I felt like in some scenes it was a bit like stop start and we were stuck in the scenes for a bit instead of it flowing quite nicely. Yeah, it certainly wasn't flowing quite as well as it normally does. It was really weird because we saw them two ride vehicles that were in the loading area that were empty and parked up. And then along with that, there was one that was running round empty, but it was still actually running the three tours when they split off into them different rooms. Because if you don't know much about the attraction, if you've not seen it before, um, yeah, it does split off 
um, towards the end of the ride and you go into like a different scene um, which I do really like it makes it unique and normally you'll be able to pick which tour you want to go on mainly for that latter part of the ride oh it was still lovely getting back on there but fingers crossed it can get that back up to its 100% um, sell soon oh, really I'd like to really hope so because Symbolica is beautiful the theming in there is just absolutely brilliant yeah the score is fantastic as well the animatronics it really is my favourite ride here at this park on one of my all time favourite dark rides now this sign is a special one. Every time we come, I have to have a photo with it. It is so special. Oh, is it the entrance to the fairy tale forest? And it actually changes for winter season as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yes, so it has like snow coming across it. It's just this sign is one of my favourite signs ever in a theme park. You just really like it, don't you? Yeah. It is a beautiful sign and a fantastic photo opportunity. I'm actually going to head round the fairy tale forest shortly and go and see Long Neck himself. We couldn't come here to F Telling without seeing him, and I think he's had a bit of a refurbishment, you know. I believe so. A few of you was commenting on our post to say that he was missing, but now he's back. Oh, I'm glad he is. That'd have been good if we'd have uh, missed him. <laughs> but so uh, yeah, we're going to head in shortly. We'll have a look in this shop first, though. Inside the shop, then now, and yeah, they've got F Telling Monopoly just over here. Oh, how awesome is that? I love how a lot of parks do Monopoly now. Oh, and we saw these at winter and really like these. It's like all different models of parts of the park. You can collect them all and put them together. A lot of these scenes famous in the fairy tale forest, but also other kind of icons from around the park. And they actually sell a little model of that sign that Charlotte loves. And yeah, we're trying to find it. Is it not in again? Oh, no, I'm double checking, but I don't think they've got it. Because we were going to get it, weren't we? Oh, but yeah, look at this. Lots of the items on sale. I don't know if the sign's down here or not. That's what I'm looking for. You can get the goats though. Oh, that's good. Vogel Rock just over there. Yeah, it's closed for refurbishments, but yeah, we'll go up and see what they're doing up there shortly. It's right next to Carnival Festival. Long neck. It actually lifts up as well out the top. Got some of the older rides. Pagode, the swinging ship, and the entrance to the park down there too. All your Christmas ornaments, because Christmas is just around the corner. But we'll enjoy the rest of Halloween first. But yeah, no Halloween here at Efteling though. Now, of course, for those of you that don't know, this is how Efteling started. It was the fairy tale forest, a walkthrough. There was no rides or big attractions. This was it. And you know what? Over the years, they've continued to develop it, and it is wonderful around here. You got all these different fairy tales on display. There's animatronics, reading material. You can spend hours in this part of the park alone. Here we go, here's Charlotte doing the washing. Ready for the next trip? Oh, <laughs> we've got all the phone coming off. <laughs> I like that, it's actually genuine yeah. like, bubbles in there. Like, that's very cool. <laughs> and here he is, one of our favourite parts of the park. The one and only Long Neck. What do you think of that neck, Charlotte? It's one of the best necks I have ever seen. I think his neck has been replaced since last time we were it here. Looks different. Or at least painted up. Oh, it's getting longer. Wow. It just keeps stretching out. That is brilliant. He's looking around. We're here, long neck. We're here. You don't need to look up there. Look at it, still stretching out. Wow. Beautiful. What a guy. What a neck. We love him. You okay in there? You all right? <laughs> I love this part. And you just stroll around this area and take it all in, all the different fairy tales. You just walk past Rapunzel down there. Look at the dragon dust here and the treasure chest. Yeah, lots of interactives. Wouldn't be a walk around here, would it, without seeing our good old friend, the goat Mildred. Just say hello, Mildred. Back so soon, Sean and Charlotte. We are. What you got in your baskets? Oh, in that basket? Nothing for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, see you soon. Don't know when, but in the not too distant future. <laughs> We've got the goats, they're wearing dresses. They've got cardigans, they're playing board games <laughs> in their dresses. Oh, there we go, new song for you all with the goats. That's where it all started. Oh, if only you could smell what I can smell right now. It's cakes, it's sweets, it's delicious. 
It's also the biggest area of the park round here. Lots to see, lots to do. And you got the donkey just there. He lifts up his tail and he poos out a little coin for you. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> nice little souvenir from your visit. This is like mini Aquanora just over here with the frogs and the fountains. Fast asleep just over here. Tom Thumb is. <laughs> What I liked about Christmas, you could actually go in Tom Thumb's socks as a photo opportunity. <laughs> it was very nice, just over here at the side. Little enhancements that they do for the winter season. Rumpelstiltskin just over here. Or oh, okay, that's me trying to listen in over the walls at the Nemesis construction site back home. There we go, what's that? Nemesis Reborn? <laughs> Got the parade coming in just over here. <laughs> I love how much effort goes into all of these. Keeping everything working, looking fresh, painted up. You think this was installed new for this year? Really enjoying our walk here through the fairy tale forest and making our way round now to our second favourite thing here, and that is the talking tree. We really like this. Oh, the tree is beautiful. I love how we just sits here, relaxing, looking out at the tree, listening to the story. So nice. I like how his branches gently move as well. One big animatronic. Oh, and another one of our personal favourites just here. The flying carpet. <laughs> See how he flies between these two towers. As he turns round and he comes down, he plays his flute, trumpet, whatever it is down here in the window and the flowers start to grow. Very cool. And that's our stroll around the fairy tale forest. Only a quick visit with us only having one day here at the park, but we're still 45 minutes walking around there. It's massive. Yeah, you can easily spend a couple of hours wow. taking it all in. Look at the size of these bad boys down here. These are massive. Huge fish <laughs> down here in the pond. And even if you have only got one day here at Efteling, I'd still recommend coming for a stroll through there. It is really nice, isn't Do it? Do not miss it. There is so much to see and it's a big part of Efteling's history. Yeah, definitely. So head down here and have a walk through. Even if you have a fast-paced walk, it only take like 20, 30 minutes. It's worth coming to see, even if you just come to this part for the rides. Just around the corner there now. And yeah, you have got the gorgeous steam train here at Efteling. There's a look at the beautiful loco. Now, as I mentioned back near the start of the vlog, there's actually three major rides closed at the moment for refurbishments. It should have just been the two, and that's Vogel Rock and Villa Volta. And obviously, with it being a 365 operation park, it is perfectly fine when they close the rides. Uh, they've got to do the maintenance. Um, but yeah, sadly, Dreamflight wasn't supposed to be closed. However, um, it is, which is a real shame because we were looking forward to getting on that. So I'm gutted it's closed. Yeah, it was closed for a big refurbishment over winter when we were here, wasn't and it? We missed out on it over winter, which is such a shame. Yeah, and we thought, oh, we'll come back this time and get back on it. But, oh, it is a shame about that. Yeah, it's a suspended dark ride. It's only been shut for a few days. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame that uh, we're not going to get on it today. But we've done it in the past, and I'm sure it'll be open again for us at some point in the future. And, yeah, I have also got Ravelin down here at this side of the park, which is a show. Brilliant, and it's well worth watching if you come in here, especially for a couple of days, you know, when you've got more time to take it all in. And yeah, here's a look at Villa Volta. This was the first ever Vacoma Madhouse. Yeah, this was advertised to be closed. I mean, we went on this at Christmas anyway. Um, but yeah, here's a look at the building for it. It is beautiful. And yeah, by the time this vlog is online for you all, it uh, should be back in operation, Villa Volta. This is a really nice part of the park. It's quite hidden away, actually, from some of the main pathways took me a couple of visits to really discover it down here but yeah you've got lots of different buildings and interactives and the monorail that runs around the top yeah if it's not too busy we'll have a ride on there and we're making our way down towards the back of the park where Vogel Rock is the indoor coaster shame we're not getting on that but like I say maintenance has to be done and they do clearly advertise it on the website when attractions are going to be down and yeah also Carnival Festival is down that way really fun dark ride so we'll give that a go and take you all on as we continue on with our afternoon here at Efteling. We've got a couple of hours left till the park closes. I'm pleased with how much we've managed to fit into one day. It is a two day park if you come in here, especially for the first time, or even three days if you want to stay on site and relax and enjoy it. Oh, but you can see the highlights in a day. Oh, I'm having a really nice afternoon. I just hope the rain doesn't come in again. Oh, I've got a brolly. You have got a nice big brolly for us, but we'll see what happens. You enjoying your day? Oh, really nice. 
nice, so nice to be back. It is, gorgeous park. We got some of the older, more classic attractions down here. Just yeah, yeah. this old chair swing. There's a carousel and a few other smaller rides all down here. It's a massive park. Lots of great eateries here too. Personal favourite of mine, I've not been in there for a while actually. That's the Pancake House, it's down by Symbolica. And yeah, that's a great place to eat. So we're down here now at the very back of the park. And we're going to make our way shortly onto Carnival Festival. Nice dark ride. And yeah, here's a look at the work taking place on Vogel Rocks. Yeah, as you can see, they're doing a refurbishment of the big bird itself out the front. So yeah, normally what you see there on the scrim is actually there in person. And it looks amazing. But yeah, this has literally gone up a few days ago, I believe. And uh, yeah, big refurbishment going on inside the attraction on the roof and also out here at the front. But at least they've put a scrim up uh, to kind of cover it over. But yeah, it's going to be shut for still quite a while whilst they're uh, doing the work on Vogel Rock, the park's indoor coaster. Brilliant ride, one of our favourites in the park. But yeah, at least they do clearly advertise closures on the website. And we have plenty of rides on it at Christmas. We've waited less than 10 minutes for Carnival Festival. Another addictive soundtrack here at Efteli. Let's go and ride. journey around the world there on Carnival Festival. I do love the soundtrack on there. It is so addictive. <laughs> <laughs> All the sets that you go through in there, a lot to look at, very vibrant scenes, an enjoyable ride here at Efteling. So making our way onto Sirocco just here now, which is the spinning boat ride in this area of the park. Very well themed around here, I do like it. Oh, the lanterns are cool. Let's go and ride, take you on. And here we go! I really like the soundtrack on it. Hey! Look how big this is! Merchant Travellers. I like the announcements on it. You got some uh, bananas behind you there. I've got some really good supplies. Merchant Traveller. <laughs> I do like how on the newer attractions, designed for international businesses such as ourselves. I do like that. Hey! Very well themed this is. I like it. Flat ride. Hey. Whoa, 
merchants travellers. I'll be back sliding about. A bike's having a ride on its own. <laughs> it gets going quite fast, this does. You don't really need to spin this, do you? It kind of does it itself, really. I'm sliding around towards the door here. Oh, wow. Merchant travellers. <laughs> nice overall package. There's a storm coming. This shows how you can turn a flat ride into a full themed experience. I like it a lot. I very much enjoy that. A flat ride that is a full on themed experience. And yeah, they've also redone the restaurant just over here now. It looks quite nice on the outside, actually. It's probably back up. It's hey. again. <laughs> Starting to rain. Well, yeah, this fits more with the aesthetic of the area now, with the more darker reds and browns. Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, how beautiful is this? All the lake, and yeah, you've actually got the track for the steam train that runs through the middle, and then gondoletta down there to the boat ride. It's not been a complete washout today though. I mean, it wasn't great at Movie Park, but we still had a good time yesterday. So like I say, make sure you check out that vlog if you haven't already seen it. And yeah, we've got lots coming up. We're visiting 16 parks on this trip and possibly a couple of surprise parks actually, a couple of bonus ones that we're gonna be visiting. So yeah, stay tuned throughout the trip. But yeah, we're gonna make our way now onto Pagode, the observation tower. Oh, another note, look at the size of these conkers down here. Oh, look at those. Hi, oh, huge. Have you ever seen a conker that big, Charlotte, before? No, I've never seen a conker that big. Oh my god, there's a pair of conkers down there. Wow, look at that, it is beautiful. Lifting up into the sky, like a spaceship, but it doesn't look actually like a spaceship this one. It's this beautiful building, but still, it's very spaceship-like still, isn't it? It's <laughs> lifts <spaceship. up. laughs> Thought we'd get that in before Charlotte. Yeah, fascinating ride system on this massive arm, this big boom that lifts up. We'll be on the next cycle. Looks like a UFO is landing here in the Netherlands. <laughs> That's kind of our ride. Oh, look at this beautiful view. Looking out over the park. And yeah, they're actually redoing the roof over there on Vogel Rock. It's like a thatched roof on there. There's the Efteling Hotel. Over there in the background. Oh, I tell you what, it is windy today here in the Netherlands. And yeah, there's a look out over this side of the park. George and the Dragon over there at the back, Flying Dutchman, Baron, Python. And Symbolica show building down here too. Look at that. All the solar panels on the roof. Stunning. Yeah, the location for this park really makes it very special. Oh, lovely ride there on Pagode, getting some nice aerial views over the park. Into the last hour of the day then now, we're actually coming back down here to Yoris, George and the Dragons have another ride. We'll go on the other side this time and give it a go, why not? It's really good earlier, we enjoyed it. Hey, and we're off. We only waited about 10 minutes there, we're on the front again on this side now. I don't know how this is going to turn out because it is raining. It's not too heavy though. So we just should be okay. Fingers crossed. You get some good views of the layout on this side when you're going up the lift. Beautiful Baron just over there. Oh, what a gorgeous coaster. Ready, Charlotte? Yeah. Round two. We'll just be on the front. We're going to get hit by the rain a bit more. But we'll see how we get on. This side won just as well. Three. changes as well as a winner very nice that that was really really good oh fireside was running wild there on george and the dragon 
very much enjoy getting a couple of rides on there today, especially with it being closed during our winter trip. Looks the part as well, yeah, I do love this part of the park. I mean, I like all of it, but uh, yeah, it was great that was, wasn't it? I think it? that's my favourite coaster at the park. Really? Oh! Really? Nice getting on it again. Very well. We've also just waited 10 minutes for another ride on the Flying Dutchman, haven't we? It's got to be done. It has, yeah, especially with that ambience inside there. But yeah, we've got uh, 20 minutes to go until the park closes. Next time we're at this park, we'll be experiencing Dance Macabre and we are very much looking forward to this opening in 2024. It's been built by Intamin and yeah, it's a dark ride, it's going to spin, there's going to be beautiful music and scenes and we're very much looking forward to it. They have actually recently opened a new food outlet just out the front here of what is going to be this themed area and yeah, I'm really liking the look of what we can see down here so far. You've got the new toilets over to the left and yeah, this kind of building style that we can see here is what we're expecting from the main show building for Dance Macabre just down there. And yeah, the construction is well underway on the building itself. Really excited for this next year. Tell you what, it's a big year for theme parks, isn't it? 2024, there's so much to look forward to. And yeah, another dark ride here in Efteling. And before we make our way out of the park and wrap up today's vlog, just wanted to get in about the Efteling Grand Hotel. Yeah, the company that's been working on part of this project have been having some financial issues. So it has unfortunately meant that it's pushed the construction of this project back. I mean, the park are still saying it's coming in 2024. However, uh, I'd be very surprised if so. I mean, you've got to build this massive hotel on the other side of the fence. Um, there is a lot of foundations that are already in place. So maybe it will still open, but possibly later next year. Uh, but still I was hoping by now uh, to see this you know gone vertical and yeah almost finished really ready for next year and getting out the inside but uh, we'll see what happens we'll definitely stay here in the future though it's inside the park and even though it's a big park you'll never get lost here at Efteling if you've never been before just look for the big entrance like this the witch's hat as it looks like here <laughs> and yeah we've got the main gift shop here too I can't believe it they've got a special merch range for long neck just here you got the draft excluder look at that 17 euros 50. Oh, uh, oh wow like this stuff is great I love the draft excluder it's a shame we don't have any drafts at home really but it's nice like, look at that I shouldn't be moaning about having no drafts in the living room like that is fantastic I love that to bits yeah I suppose I could put it in the museum Got some really nice new merch. Look at this Pagode t-shirt here. That's great. How much is that? 20 euros. Not too bad. I think the merchandise is really well priced here. Got a nice picture just here of the entrance of the park. And for 80 euros, you've got this wooden plaque. I'll tell you what there, that is pretty stunning. The skyline of the park on there. That's very nice. Some good premium merch. Well, that brings us to the end of our vlog here from Efteling, the world of wonders here in the Netherlands. We adore this park, don't we? We love this park. It is so magical. There is just so much to look at. It's just got a fantastic vibe. It really has. There's so many great attractions here. It's been really nice getting back on some of our favourites here today. And look how much we've packed into a 10-6 day. Uh, the operations have been great. And yeah, it's not been too busy, really. But then you see all the crowds at the exit and you think, actually, there's been a lot of people in there. You know, this park has got some high-capacity attractions and even with a few down for maintenance and uh, we've had a really good time here and I'm good we didn't get on dream flight though I was hoping for that you know uh, and Vogel Rock. yeah I mean Vogel Rock we knew there was going to be closed we had dream flight it's only been shut for a few days we will probably be back open soon um, but you know what we've had a really good day really enjoyed getting back on Yoris today I thought that was riding great nice and fast wasn't it my favorite coaster at the park oh interesting Symbolica as well hopefully that'll have the uh, TLC it needs soon looking a bit tired um, in places and along with that too um, just a lot of work generally going on around the park at the moment with the new hotel being built, uh, Dance Macabre under construction, quite a lot of other construction going on around the park. So hopefully for 2024, um, everything's looking really fresh with the new bits too. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the hotel when that's finished, whether it's next year or in the year after. Uh, whenever it is, we'll definitely be booking a stay there, won't oh, we? that would be brilliant. That will like prop it in the park. Oh, it'd be great. But uh, yeah, we packed so much in. Ops have been good. Weather's been pretty decent <laughs> for us today as well. It's not been too bad. Not like yesterday anyway and uh, of course we're just getting started with this epic Europe road trip we visited movie park Germany yesterday for Halloween and that's the thing at this park I did briefly mention it earlier but I'll say it again there's no Halloween you won't even see a pumpkin in this park there is absolutely <laughs> nothing I can't believe 
believe they haven't got some pumpkins around. Yeah, it's just not really their thing that they do at this part, which is perfectly fine. You know, not everywhere needs to celebrate Halloween. Um, yeah, just something very different. We've had a really good time here, and uh, I love this part to bits. Also, you can just come here for one day and have a great time. Normally, we do at least two days here, maybe even three staying on site. Hopefully, this vlog shows you, even if you're just coming for one day, you can get the highlights in and make the most of it, can't we you? We have done so much. I was not expecting to get this much in. No, not in one day. It really has been wonderful. And if you want to see Efteling in a bit more detail, check out the vlogs we filmed um, over winter. But Charlotte was quite poorly there. I was there. so poorly. <laughs> but here we go. Lots more coming up on the road trip. But here from Efteling, that leaves me one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in the next vlog.